Hello all, my name is Edwin Abrahamian and I'm a staff engineer with Ceratech. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. Uh, today we'll be, we'll be discussing the meshing toolbox within VMAP 12 and some of the functionalities within that toolbox. The first thing I'm going to do here is uh, prep the geometry. So we are working with a simple bracket today. And we want to mid-surface this bracket. After we mid-surface it, then we'll go ahead and modify or edit the geometry using the meshing toolbox. Then we'll mesh the bracket and then clean it up a bit to get a nice refined mesh. So the first thing we want to do here is actually go into the meshing toolbox to start. And we're going to go to our feature removal. And we're going to remove some of these blends here. So you can easily do that by going to the blends, doing our selection, selecting the whole solid, and it automatically removes the blends for you. So next, we'll go back to our model info, we'll go to our geometry, and we'll go to our mid-surfacing, and we will automatically mid-surface this uh, geometry. So with automatic mid-surface generation, we have the set of target thickness, we can go ahead and do a measurement. So I like to always select pick front and smart snap. So we can go ahead and select that point, this point, it's around 0.5 inches. We'll combine the mid surfaces and we'll combine any tangent surfaces as well. And we'll click OK to confirm that. So next, um, you can see that we have two uh, pieces of geometry now. We can go ahead and hide this one and we have a mid surface combined uh, piece of geometry. So now we can go ahead and uh, assign attributes. So we can go to mid surface, assign mesh attributes, select all. And we'll just assign a random material here. And it's asking us to consolidate the properties by thickness. So in this case, um, it recognizes that this piece of geometry or solid was 0.5 inches. So we can go ahead and select that. And now we have a property with a mid surface of thickness 0.5. And our material is also assigned as well. So now that we have this uh, mid-surfaced geometry, we can go ahead and just put a very simple uh, mesh on this. So we're going to mesh surface, and we'll just do a free mesh and slap a mesh on it. So we can go ahead here, and do a very coarse mesh. So now we have these holes. So we want to use the meshing toolbox to refine these holes and get a nice clean mesh around these holes. So we want to, what we want to do here is actually hide the elements and the nodes. And we can go to our geometry editing and use some of these operations in here. So we're going to add a pad with a washer. And we will go ahead and select our holes. And then next, we can go and modify the geometry further to just kind of split it up so that we can have nice uh, meshable areas that are easier to refine and, and work with, especially around these holes. So we'll go ahead and uh, select the point to edge. And we can just go ahead and select these points and split the surface up so we have nice square areas that will cater to our quad mesh. So it's up to you. Um, as the individual modeling this within FEMAP to know how fine or how much editing you should be doing of the geometry. Um, in this case, I want to make it nice and fine. So we'll go ahead and select all the different points here and make sure we have nice square areas for our quad mesh, our quad elements. So that looks about right so now we can go ahead and uh, show our elements again and we can go ahead and mesh it so we can go to mesh surface here mapped mesh we want to make it a bit finer so we'll make it point one and we can go ahead and select these uh, different areas individually because we'll select it all at once but in this case we'll just do it individually You can see we have these nice uniform squares now um, that shouldn't have any real issues. 
So now, however, around the holes, there's there's a couple of issues. So we can go to our um, our geometry, our mesh sizing, and we can increase the size around these curves. Uh, in this case, we can go ahead and edit this. And you can see how now we're getting a nice uniform um, mesh around these holes. We can do these for all these different paths that we added. There you go. Um, what this is doing essentially, the mesh sizing, uh, you're able to size a curve so you can add nodes on a curve, um, ergo making the mesh more dense or less dense in particular areas, uh, so, uh, depending on which curves you select. So you can increase it, you can decrease it, you can set two. Um, you can also set exactly the number of elements you want to add or a factor. So in this case, I was just adding one element. Um, so for example, if I go and select this curve right here, you can see I'm adding another layer and I can keep making it as fine as I want. So you have a bunch of different options within the mesh sizing. Next thing we're going to do to refine this further is to clean up this face. So we got, we're going to actually combine these different curves here. So we're going to combine composite curve and add curves. And we're going to add these curves together. And after we do that, now we can go back to our um, mesh sizing and do a match curve. Select the curve we want to match. And then select the curve that we want it to match to. So you can see just using the meshing toolbox, some of the features here, uh, we were able to quickly uh, refine the mesh on this bracket. Um, so it's very easy to do, uh, and hopefully this uh, helps you along your way in terms of modeling and in terms of meshing and having a nice, clean, uniform mesh by using the meshing toolbox. Very quick little demonstration here. Um, thank you for watching it. And uh, please feel free to leave any comments or questions uh, below. Um, in addition, our channel does have uh, many other videos that you can go ahead and tune into, uh, which include videos for NX and FEMAP and Solid Edge. And please subscribe, because we do have, like I said, a lot of videos that are coming in, uh, and there's a lot of different uh, uh, tips and tricks that you can learn from these videos that we have. So thank you, and have a wonderful day.